With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, so the question is two heat engines are operating in such a way that heat rejected by the first engine is used as heat input of the second. If both the engines are 40% efficient, then the overall efficiency of the system is. So here first we explain what is heat engine. So heat engine is a device that converts the heat energy into mechanical energy. So in heat engine there is a source that is input. It supplies heat Q1 to the working substance. working substance uh, do some work and reject the heat Q2 to the sink and the efficiency of heat engine is written as 1 minus Q2 upon Q1. So we can write here as equation efficiency is given in the first case that is 40% efficient. So it will be 40 upon 100 is equals to 1 minus Q2 upon Q1 or you can say Q2 upon Q1 will be equal to 60 by 100 assume it to be first equation. Now it is written that the heat rejected by the first engine that is Q2 is equal to heat input that is Q1 dash and we have to find the final efficiency. Now again applying the formula F A N C eta dash will be equal to 1 minus Q2 dash upon Q1 dash. So it will be 40 upon 100 1 minus Q2 dash upon Q2. So Q2 dash upon Q2 will be equal to 60 by 100. This we assume to be second equation. And now we have to find the overall efficiency of the system. So what we do, we first divide. We first divide the equation 1 with equation 2. So if we divide the equation 1 with equation 2, what we get here? or we simply multiply both the equations multiply both the equations 1 and 2 we get q2 upon q1 multiply q2 dash upon q2 is equals to 3600 upon 10000 which on solving we get 100 cancel out with 100 q2 cancel out with q2 so it will be q2 dash upon q1 will be equal to 36 upon 100. Now we have to find the overall efficiency, the net efficiency. So the net efficiency will be 1 minus q2 dash upon q1 because q1 is the input and q2 dash is the last output. So we put the value of Q2 dash upon Q1 here and we get 1 minus 36 upon 100. So that will be 64 upon 100 or you can say it will be 64 percent or 0 0.06, 0 0.64. That means the correct option is option A. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.